So when I first graduated college, I did um, some uh, case management work, still in health. So I did like moms and babies, mm -hmm. just kind of tracking their health. And then I did um, uh, HIV and AIDS clients, and just case, case management for them as well. So that was my nonprofit experience. I kind of worked for two nonprofits in Chicago and then, but never thought, I thought that was the end of it. We were early in our marriage and me and Dana just through conversation, talked about our experiences. And that's when I shared that I was in a domestic violent relationship, um, my teen through adult, early adult years. And that it was really um, because I had witnessed as a, as a child, my mom, um, was in just abusive relationships and so I just kind of normalized that that was normal behavior and that couples fight and that's okay and things happen. Through that conversation he released that you know in his family he had kind of witnessed or at least knew of the same type of relationships and were like well this is unfortunate we're growing our family um, we want to at least stop it within our own families we want to do something. And that's kind of how the rebound came. And then one night I had a dream and I saw my mom in a home and she was helping people. And the next day I called her, I said, well, you're not gonna believe this. And she said, well, you're not gonna believe this. And from that dream, we kind of had similar things going on. And she just kind of had a prayer and talk with God. And she said, she just knew that this is what she's supposed to do is to give back to women by providing homes where they can live and kind of heal. Well, I started doing a lot of research on what was needed in the domestic violence community and housing was a huge need and unfortunately still is. And so I said, well, what can we do to try to you know, fill that gap? We started kind of raising funds back in maybe 2015, 16, in between that year. And we're like, okay, we gotta raise money for this. And of course, it's not as easy to get you know, grant money. We, weren't, we didn't have, have any service at the time. We were kind of raising those funds. And so we did a lot of just groundwork of awareness and fundraisers. And so that was always our main purpose, is to have transitional housing. 